All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with my November 2015 update video for, you guessed it, November 2015. Woo! So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, we're gonna be talking about some personal life stuff as well as some YouTube stuff. But before we begin any of that, uh, today is Veterans Day, November 11th. So I wanna issue a special thanks to uh, all the veterans out there and especially to those who are currently serving, active duty, reserves, whatever. Give them hell, guys. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is actually my first Veterans Day as a veteran. So it's kind of hard to, uh, to put into words just kind of what it means because, you know, I never really uh, had this kind of experience because, you know, none of my immediate family or anything like that were military. You know, the closest I had were my cousins, which I've mentioned before you know, were my inspiration to not only join the service, but also to uh, go out to Japan as well. So, you know, they've been a big inspiration for me. Uh, so aside from them, I really didn't have anybody, you know, growing up, you know, because when I was a kid, it was just like, ah, it's just another day off, you know, whatever. But I think, I think now it has a little bit more significance and, you know, it means a bit more to me now than, you know, when I was younger, just because it actually is, relevant to me you know <laughs> it's kind of odd to say that but you know it is what it is so um, yeah I guess in light of all this you know I want to um, do a new series and now I know a lot of people have been asking me Andy when's NFAX coming back when are you gonna do a new NFAX episode when's the next episode and stuff like that and uh, I do apologize for uh, basically killing off the series I decided to uh, to bring it back kinda so NFAX was basically created as kind of my uh, response as someone who was active duty, responding to Navy related questions, you know, what's boot camp like, you know, how fat can you be to join, you know, stuff like that. How much money do you make, you know, whatever. So now as a veteran, I don't think the series would really work. So I've decided, you know, I've taken a lot of inspiration from this guy on YouTube named JT Suits, you know, I'll put a link below in the description for his channel and things like that. And uh, he's he's also a veteran, also Navy, but he was an air guy, so he was working on the uh, the carrier out in Yokosuka, I think it was G-Dub at the time. And so he's been doing, you know, videos while he was in, you know, showing planes taking off and stuff like that. And uh, recently he's been doing uh, kind of a life after the Navy sort of series, you know, answering military questions and things like that. So I think that's what I wanna do for my, uh, my next series, but calling it NFAX is kind of silly. So I decided to rename it to something a bit more relevant, I guess, you know, it will be called Life After Navy. At least that's the working title. I'm, it might change later on, but Life After Navy is the working title right now. I don't think I'll start filming that series until, you know, after I get all settled up in uh, Michigan, you know, sometime either the end of this month or early next month. But, uh, that series is definitely in the works. Um, I'm writing down a lot of different uh, video ideas for it, so definitely uh, check it out soon. And speaking of Michigan, um, this is gonna kinda tie into personal slash YouTube, so it's kinda hard for me to segment uh, the personal life stuff and the YouTube stuff like I usually do with my update videos because they kind of intersect a little bit too much this month, so uh, apologies for that. But anyway, yeah, as far as YouTube stuff, I don't have a lot of stuff going on currently this month. Maybe some random doodads here and there, but you know, nothing really in the works as of yet. So um, I do apologize for that, but I've been focusing mostly on uh, just basically finding a place out in Michigan because I'm going to be moving very soon. This week, uh, my mom and I are going to go up to Michigan, to Kalamazoo, and uh, look at some apartments and things like that. And I'm hoping to, you know, just bring out my cell phone, nothing to pro level, you know, just bring out my cell phone and uh, just kind of look around at places I could potentially live at. And uh, just kind of, you know, at least have something a bit more concrete, a little, little something to actually look at so I can get like a second opinion on, yeah, maybe this place is pretty good or maybe this place is better or something like that. Because uh, you know how retailers are, they're, they're salespeople. So obviously they're gonna, they're gonna talk up their place like it's the best place to live. You know, I just want to kind of have a more, I guess, like what, subjective, objective, you know, just a, an outside opinion on the whole thing. 
And uh, like I said, I'm going to be focusing most of my time on uh, just finding a place up there, moving, which uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash theandysan, my stuff came in yesterday. So all my stuff for my apartment up in Yokosuka came in yesterday. It's filling up the garage and uh, also my car's in there too. So because, you know, my brother and I were working on it because one of the, one of the uh, heater coil hoses was leaking and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just a, it's just a big mess right now. So hopefully all this kind of stuff will be sorted out. And that's another reason why you haven't seen car vlogs is because my car's been kind of uh, laid up as of late. So uh, hopefully that'll be all fixed up soon. I'll find a place up in Michigan and uh, we'll begin the moving process. <laughs> Fun times. And uh, if you guys follow me on my Let's Play channel, Andy Cade, um, you guys are probably wondering, you know, what's going on with that channel? Why haven't you uploaded anything to that? And uh, I guess the long and short of it, though, is that, you know, I basically put that channel on hiatus because of all the, uh, the time and stuff I needed to invest in moving. And not only moving, but transitioning out of the Navy. And it's, it was such a stressful experience, especially going from Japan to Washington. Once I got to Washington, it was just kind of smooth sailing from there because you just basically waited for like a week and then uh, once you got all your paperwork and your DD-214 and all that kind of stuff, which is definitely something I'm going to be talking about in a future video. But uh, once you got all your paperwork and you got the plane ticket and all that kind of stuff, it just, you know, smooth sailing from there. So I've been home for about a month and a half now, I think. So I've been just taking this time to just kind of relax and get myself back into the uh, the civilian mindset rather than the uh, the military mindset. So um, I'm a lot less a lot less stressed now than when I was in and when I was up in Yokosuka. You know, things are looking pretty good. But there is uh, there is one thing that has been bothering me though, and that's just boredom, really. You know, <laughs> as much as I want to try and take a solid R and R, you know, vacation or staycation or whatever have you, what have you. Um, I do like to work. I love working on YouTube videos. And I love editing, and I love, I love doing this, you know, talking with you guys and things like that. And uh, recently, I've been doing uh, live streams, and I've wanted to do live streams for a long time, but I just, I just didn't know what to live stream about. I didn't know really what what to do. I wasn't familiar with the live stream technology and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's been a learning process for me. But uh, recently I've been doing uh, video editing live streams and I think this video is gonna go up there soon as well. <laughs> Once I'm done recording it anyway. So I've been doing that and uh, I first started doing it on Twitch but uh, Twitch wasn't really that good with uh, the creative side because it's like it, it categorizes streams based on like what games you play which is great if you're playing games, but if you're not playing games, you're lumped into the creative category, which is extremely broad. And I hope that Twitch, you know, rectifies this in the future and kind of, you know, puts creative in like subcategories or something like that. I mean, that's that's just me anyway. So, because it's hard for people to find my stream and stuff like that on Twitch if I'm doing the creative thing versus the video game thing, which is a bit more clean cut. The first stream went pretty okay, I guess knocked out some technical difficulties and then second stream went a lot better and I did the second stream on YouTube just to kind of AB the technology and I think for uh, for the creative video editing stream side of things I'm gonna stick with YouTube for live streaming and then I'm going to uh, for like gaming streams and stuff like that I'll stick with Twitch because it's just it's better organized for games right now versus uh, the creative side, but hopefully that'll change. Yeah, I'm really glad that you guys have been enjoying those live streams and stuff like that. The feedback has been very positive, so I'm gonna continue doing those. Definitely a lot more stuff from me on the way, but uh, right now this month and leading into the beginning of next month, it's gonna be kind of busy because I'm gonna be you know, busy moving and getting myself settled into uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan before I start school in January. Hopefully I'll be able to, to iron out a schedule and stuff like that once I settled in up there. We'll be able to uh, to do some more Let's Plays and do, do some more stuff on Andy Cade and do more videos and things like that. That's pretty much all I wanted to, uh, to say in this video. So yeah, this is the Andy-san. 
sign it for now. Thanking you guys, Poop, for uh, tuning in on this kind of long and rambly uh, update video, as well as tuning into my other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Happy Veterans Day. Bye.